What is going on guys, Gray here. Today I'd like to talk about Void 3.0, which we got some more detail about in the video that Bungie put out yesterday about the Witch Queen. Now this was a great watch. If you have not seen it, I will link it down in the description below. They talked about Void 3.0, how they designed the Witch Queen's new enemies, 50 new weapons. It was a really good watch if you have not seen it. So like I said, that will be linked down in the description. But they did give, they did give some details about Void 3.0 and how this is gonna change build crafting in Destiny 2 pretty much forever. They did not go into each individual class. They kind of just showed it off on the Warlock. But first of all, they kind of talked about Void 3.0 being pretty much like how they did Stasis in Beyond Light. You're gonna have your aspects, you're gonna have your fragments. So it looks like we're gonna to have to unlock those aspects and fragments, of course, on every character like we did in, um, of course, in uh, the kind of Stasis subclass uh, within Beyond Light. Now, they did not detail if, you know, if it was Light Beyond Light once you had those, you know, fragments down there unlocked you know will they be unlocked on all characters or you're gonna to have to do it on each individual character that was one gripe i know from a lot of players they said it was too much of a grind to do that on each individual character we'll kind of have to wait and see of course when the witch queen comes out how that's going to work but they also talked about uh you'll start out uh with your class's original grenade types you will then be able to buy others from ikora they showed off i think six or seven different grenade types on that one warlock you know kind of void 3.0 a uh, new kind of subclass build like the stasis build or kind of like the stasis build we had so there's, there's going to be six or seven grenades there and it seems like you're going to be buying the other grenades and things from ikora uh she's going to kind of be the new vendor for the new void 3.0 they want to talk about uh how they were wanting to do it pretty much like they did with stasis but also you know kind of let you combine different things for really unique builds so they kind of gave the examples of the new Chaos Accelerant also works with one of the new uh, grenade type, which is equipped overcharge magne magnetic grenades that will trigger short range void blast, which used to be kind of like the middle tree void walkers handheld supernova. So they're kind of combining a lot of these grenades and abilities from each of the three trees we had in the past and kind of, uh, kind of adding them together within the aspects and the fragments. So you can kind of combine everything to have, you know, not just maybe just a damage or healing build or whatever the case you, you know, whatever the case may be, whatever you're wanting, you actually can, you know, combine a lot of this stuff. It says, uh, I went on to talk about Chaos Accelerant lets you overcharge your grenades to deploy more deadly versions of the base effects. Of course, this was already present in the old Top Tree Voidwalker ability where your Vortex grenades, uh, the Vortex grenades increase the size and duration and the Axion Bolt grenades had an extra dart and Scatter grenades would hone on enemies now of course like i said we do have new grenades in the game and they went on to talk about that a little bit as well it says feed the void is another existing ability now retooled as an aspect this is what enables devour builds where defeating a target with a void ability restores your health uh, with each kill this was already one of the strongest abilities in the warlock kit and the key to many solo dungeon completions they said the downside under the old system is you, you were kind of having to give up da the damage potential of some of the other things like from the top tree void walker now you have both which is already you know a really cool kind of aspect of what they're wanting to do you now you can combine all that it says uh given that running feed the void and the chaos accelerant together already sounds like a very pa powerful you know kind of upgrade compared to the old system they wanted to make sure that there were some other really neat things in there there's a new aspect called uh, called Child of the Old Gods, it spawns a Void Soul when you cast your Rift. That Void Soul will actually go over enemies that you're shooting and apply a damage and weakness effect. So it's almost going to be like a debuff. It's going to go debuff those enemies. So you're going to be able to drain that enemy, uh, enemy uh, the, with the Void Soul and you know kind of use those abilities and kind of t to help you out, to kind of help you fight the different enemies that you'll be uh, kind of seeing in the Witch Queen. So, you know, you can run your rifts, you can run, you know, these things that will actually go out and debuff enemies. You can run more of a uh, healing almost kind of a build. You can run more of a damage type build, run more of a grenade type build. There's a lot of different things you can do. You can pair Devour and Void Soul and give you additional health regen effects with an exotic that uh, lets you empower, uh, empower your rift to heal you. And then, of course, you can still equip the supernova, you know, the, the nova bombs and, and things of that nature. Uh, the new warlock mo avoid melee, pocket singularity, which launches a tracking ball of energy that when it detonates, pushes targets away and applies a effect exploding them when they take damage. You can do a lot of things with these new aspects, with these new fragments. And they've pretty much taken 
the old void you know tree those three different trees that you can select from in the void class and combine them so now you can use your aspects and fragments to make whatever type of build you want and they said they are going to continue to do this and throughout the year we're going to get these updates to of course the arc and solar subclasses as well so we're going to have a really unique way to build classes going forward in destiny 2. within the next year or two i think destiny 2 is going to be a pretty much completely different game to what it has been now and what it was of course when it was first released it is a completely different game in my opinion from what it was when it was first released i talked about it in a video a few months ago when i got back into playing how much more i enjoyed it because it had that mmo aspect and this is doing even more of that now you're getting more of those uh, kind of mmo traditional things i guess where you have more ways to build your class to be unique to your individual play style with a ton of different options and i think a lot of people are really going to be excited about void 3.0 they did not go into detail like i said about the other classes about every aspect or every fragment that will be available but they wanted people to understand that build crafting uh, build crafting potential is going to be a lot better than it was in the past with the older classes it's going to be more of that stasis flexibility and they said that was one thing they learned from stasis it made it where the game was very interesting when it came to different subclasses in game uh, of course you know they said they'll have to kind of keep an eye on everything you know adjust things as you know time goes on but they were really looking forward you know people getting their hands on the new void 3.0 so leave me a comment with your thoughts are you excited about void 3.0 or were you excited about the video that came out were you excited to hear about all the new weapons that we will have available to us the crafting system feels like it's going to be a really good update no wonder they're saying you know the over a million people have pre-ordered the witch queen there's a lot of hype right now around Destiny 2 for a good reason. Anyway, guys, let me comment your thoughts. Of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.